everyone, this is Laura Origides. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how you can use canva.com to watermark your photos. Anytime you're going to use a photo, either a stock photo or something you've been given permission to use or something that you've created, I would recommend that you watermark it to set yourself apart and create a brand identity for yourself. Whether you're watermarking with a website or a logo or your name is really important so that it sets you apart from other people who are just uploading regular photos. Also, if your photo is shared through social media, your watermark will lead them back to you. So it's a good idea for marketing to watermark your photos for that respect as well. One of the things I love to do is create graphics for my 31 business. And I always share those graphics with my teammates so that they can watermark them and use them for their own business. So I'm gonna go through the process of how quick and easy you can use Canva to add that watermark design, whether it is a logo or a text. So in canva.com, and by the way, Canva is my favorite graphic design platform. It is super easy to use, very user-friendly. You can create a free account on canva.com, but it is really, really fun. So I have already created the graphic that I'm gonna add the watermark to. So I'm gonna create a social media post. I'll click on that design, but know that there's tons of different design sizes for all sorts of different needs. Now, if you're using a stock photo or one that you've created, you'll need to upload the photo into your account. You can click on upload an image. I've already done so, and I'm just gonna stretch it out so that it's the ends of my social media post square. And now I wanna add two different watermarks. I'm gonna show you how to do a logo, and I'll also show you how to do a text. If you're doing a logo, you'll need to have your logo already uploaded in something that is a transparent background. So once you click on that, you can just drag it around to wherever you'd like it to be, and there is your watermark. Now you can also add text as a watermark. So if I wanted to put my website, for example, as a text, I can do that as well. I'll add a text box, and you see it shows up right here in the middle. I will type in my website, and I know that I typically use a specific font for my branding. It is a good idea to use a specific font for your branding. It's just to create a, a sense of uniformity and I can change the color. I can drag this around wherever I'd like it to go. And once I have it where I'd like it to be, I simply download the picture. You can name it what you would like and it will keep the file in your Canva account online, which is awesome. That's another cool thing about Canva is you can access it from anywhere. So once I have it as I'd like it, you'll just hit the download button. It will show you different file types that you can choose and I'll hit download. It's really as simple as that. And I would encourage you, instead of just using a stock photo or something that someone has shared with you, take the extra few minutes and watermark your picture. It will really set you apart from other people and it will make your, your graphics really stand out and shine. So here's our finished graphic, and you can see the two examples, my logo or a website. Either one works. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.